Welcome back everyone, this is Sweet Battle Scars again. Now you're back with another unboxing video. Today we're gonna look at the Real Action Heroes Mikasa Ackerman figure by Metacom Toy. And as you guys can see here, it's a pretty big box. I cannot fit it in one single frame. So in this unboxing, I'm gonna have to be moving my camera around quite a bit. So I hope that you guys can bear with me as we go through this awesome, awesome figure. This is, of course, the first in the series of Real Action Heroes Attack on Titan figures with um, Levi and Eden coming uh, coming out very soon. Uh, their names completely left me for a second there. So Levi and Eden also coming out soon in the same series of uh, Real Action Heroes. And of course, you guys can expect these, these figures to be super high end. These are very, very nice figures. And I'm going to open the window here. Uh, we get to see Mikasa in her little window here there's the uh, figure and it's kind of hard to see because of the clear plastic but uh, we'll get to see her in all her glory once I take her out of the box and we've also got a little flap here that shows you the figure with uh, its components its uh, accessories the different faces and heads that she comes with and her awesome clothing there so very very nice figure you guys uh medicom toy always uh you know takes pride in their products and uh, their real action hero line is uh no exception it's a very very high-end uh, line of figures so here is the side of the box with mikasa there very nice pose in the back of the box we've got a close-up of mikasa in an action pose she is charging at the camera and uh, some text there and the Attack on Titan logo and of course that in there is the actual figure that is not uh, like a rendering or a, a drawing of Mikasa this is the actual figure so it looks very nice and on the other side we've got another picture of Mikasa with her little hood there the little green hood looking very nice as well Top of the box, which has got a Attack on Titan Real Action Heroes logo. And uh, same thing on the bottom. So let's get to open these things. So as usual, I, I like opening my figures from the bottom side. This is the bottom. I've already, uh, I already tore off the little sticker there. Let's uh, bring her out. So we get the box out, and uh, I'm sorry, I know it's uh, very bright. Ooh, that is super bright. Sorry about that. Let me see if I can uh, fix that a bit. There we go. Brought it down a bit. That is, <laughs> I was very bright, so I'm going to raise my camera. So you guys can get a better view of the figure. Let's get a little closer here. So there we go. I'll do my best to try and uh, fit the figure in a single frame when I can. So there is the figure in the packaging. But we already saw that, so let's just get it out of there. And uh, we've got a few pieces of tape on the side here. Let's bring I get those out. And these are always these are always packaged really well. This is what you get uh, when you unbox the figures for the first time. A lot of tape. But there we go. Finally got that out. i set that aside. There is a figure in her packaging. And you know what? Let's not uh, go around. Let's just get it out immediately. So she's got a piece of plastic on her face. And uh, there she is, uh, Mikasa Ackerman. Uh, she looks very nice. Uh, let's see if I can move my light here. Yeah, there we go, so you guys can see her better. There is her beautiful, beautiful face. You guys can see the reflection of the leather. This is actual leather. So uh, there's actual, uh, th there's a lot of mixed media in these figures, which is what I love. So you guys can see here that the leather is very nicely done it's very glossy 
Uh, it's actually maybe a little too glossy for my taste. Maybe they could have they could have dulled down the the uh, the finish, the gloss a little bit, but. Oh well, I'm uh, being nitpicky already. Uh, her scarf again, very nice. Uh, it's a very soft material. And uh, her undershirt is also uh, cloth. So you guys can see there that it, uh, it's a little wrinkly. And uh, we've got, if we open her leather jacket you got some of the straps here and these are plastic but very nicely painted very nicely rendered she's got the size little attachments there very nice on the waist we've got another piece of cloth a little piece of cloth that they use on their hips looks really cool as well and her pants are uh type of canvas they feel maybe maybe polyester here and uh, her straps of course here are uh, plastic but are very nicely done as well and uh, her boots you guys can see are plastic these are not leather or oh wait yeah these are plastic I thought that part there moved for a second no so these are plastic and you guys can see there that uh, there's a joint there but uh, they are very nicely painted. And very nicely done. So there's the figure. She looks pretty incredible. Let me lower my camera now. I don't think we need to be that high. All right. So uh, there's the figure. Uh, 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 we got to admire some of the details. Uh, the paint job on uh, things like the eyes are, is, is very nicely done. Uh, the hair, uh, not much paint there, but uh, it's very nicely finished. Uh, they give it a nice matte finish. Uh, so far, my only little nitpicky complaint might be that the leather is a little too glossy. Maybe they could have, they should have dulled out a little bit. It's just a little less glossy. Maybe like a matte finish on the leather would have been nice. But um, okay, so uh, she's, uh, you know, she's got a nice weight to her. She's not too heavy, not too light. She is uh, pretty tall. I don't have my ruler here handy to uh, measure her, but I would say she's like 10 inches, you know, maybe maybe more, maybe like 11 inches, pretty much almost a foot uh, tall. So she's a very tall figure and uh, looking very nice. So let's look at the articulation here. So of course we've got some clothing here. So her arm should go up a little higher like this, but the leather is getting in the way, and I think you guys can hear it's stretching a little bit. So the leather gets in the way, so her arm can go up about that much, and uh, you can start to see that the leather is being stressed a little bit. And this is not actual leather, by the way; it's a faux leather. So don't 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 think that it's actual leather. I call it leather because that's what it's trying to be, but it's a faux leather. It's um. It's not a real leather and so that it goes up about that much and then forwards about that much and you guys can see again the leather starts to wrinkle quite a bit and we've got a lot of wrinkles there so I don't want to stress it out too much you can probably go a little higher if you keep pushing it but again I do not want to uh, tear the, the material or anything like that so it goes up I mean back about that much and again, that's probably about what you need. I don't see why you would need to take it all the way around. So her arms do go all the way around without the leather jacket. But uh, with it on, they have a little bit of a lim limited movement. Uh, there is another joint at the elbow. It goes up about that much. And down like so. Uh, it there's a joint at her wrist, so her hand goes all the way around. And I think there should be, yeah, there's another joint here that kind of moves the arm around up here. So it kind of, you know, rotates a bit without the wrist. So you guys can get some poses like that at the elbow. That's where that rotating joint is. So you guys can rotate her arm a bit. Uh, the waist, we should have uh, probably a couple of joints. There is a joint here right below the breasts right where the diaphragm is at her belly. So we've got some movement that goes up and down like so. 
And then we've got another joint at the waist, it feels like. At least, uh, yeah, we do. So it goes around about that much. Again, uh, you guys can see the fabric here, the, her, the material on her shirt is becoming a little stressed now. So you can, uh, you know, move it a, a little bit. But uh, again, the materials were, will start uh, stretching a little bit. So they'll limit the movement. So that's what we've got there. We've got another joint at the hips. And it will go up about that much. And again, you guys can see the uh, fabric stretching down there. So it could probably go a little higher, but you don't want to, you don't want to push it. And then it goes forwards about that much, quite a bit actually. And you guys can see here that uh, her pants are falling off. So you guys can see her shirt in there. And these are removable. You guys can remove these. You guys can see the Velcro there. But underneath, which has got the, uh, you know, the regular, typical um, female uh, real action hero body, which is just, you know, just the body down there. Uh, so her leg goes up about that much and then back about that much. And I call it the uh, typical real action hero body because there is a, a set body or a set figure that they use for all of their figures. What changes are just the accessories like the clothing and... Uh, you know, maybe a little bit of the shape, depending on what figure it is. But they usually have a base figure for all of their figures. So I'm sure Mikasa is uh, made out of, you know, that, that same figure has been used on Mikasa. So we've got a joint at the knee as well. It goes up about that much and then comes down straight. And then we should, yeah, we do have a rotating joint up there that uh, her leg can... You know, rotate a little bit, not much, or maybe we don't actually. Yeah, we do. It's at the hip actually, so her hip can rotate that way. And that way, you guys can see her leather straps are uh, moving around. And uh, finally, we've got a joint at the ankle, which is just a little ball joint, maybe a hinge joint down there. So it goes up and down like so. It does move around a bit. You can probably take it all the way around, but you guys can see the, you guys can hear the plastic rubbing against each other there. And so you got a lot of movement on her ankle there. And uh, I think uh, that about covers uh, the articulation. Of course, uh, the neck, her scarf is hiding a bit, hiding the joint a bit, but you guys can see that it's a, a ball joint there. And uh, the neck goes up and down about that much. And then, oh, you can actually pretty much take it all the way around uh, a lot of free movement on the head and so uh, that is our Mikasa figure right there she stands uh, on her own very nicely and uh, we're gonna set her aside here and take a look at some of the accessories we've got in uh, we've gotten two interchangeable faces we've got a kind of a maybe chill out um, sad face maybe kind of sad kind of looks kind of tranquil also kind of just calm very put together I guess uh, that's also her usual face here this is her like usual face this one's probably a little sad and uh, this is her angry face and we've got uh looks like uh three extra pairs of hands we've got i'll only show you one of each we've got a closed fist you guys can see the fist there very nice we've got an open uh palm there looking pretty good and we've got her hands for uh, her to grab onto her uh, blades in her gear. So you guys can see there the two fingers for the trigger. I put my hand in the background so you guys can see it a little better. This light lighting might be a little too bright. Brought it down a bit. That might be better. Yeah, I think that uh, makes a big difference. So there we go. I'm going to show you now 
the hands is uh, pretty straightforward. You guys just pull out a little uh, peg in there and you guys can just slide. There's a little hole in there. And slide the peg in there. Very straightforward. So we got her hand for her gear ready to go. And her face. Uh, you have to remove the hair. You guys can see the joint there, the seam. So you can just pop her head out. Her hair out, sorry, not her head. Pop the face out. Like so, very easy. And then uh, attach the, uh, the next face there. Like so. And then now while we're at it, now uh, while we're at it, sorry, I was kind of mumbling there. We've got two sets of uh, hair, her regular hair that she comes, uh, you know, that comes on her head already right out of the box. And we've got this kind of a messy uh, hair, kind of uh, moving in the wind hair. So we're going to put that one on her right now. So this is kind of like her action hair. And you guys can see there that uh, it looks very, very cool on her. And, uh, you know, down here the seam pretty much disappears. But on the top you guys can see that the seam, maybe I didn't do it right. It should, it should close all the way. Well, I guess that, that's as much as I can close it. So there's the seam. And uh, there's the face and the hair. So that's how you do that. Put her aside. We're going to put her other face in there. This one in here. Don't want to lose track of it. And we're going to take a look at the other stuff. The other things that she comes with. Alright. In here we've got her maneuvering gear. So quite a bit of stuff for Mikasa here. Gonna remove this protective plastic. It's uh, very similar to the uh, the Figma, the Figma Mikasa, where she'll come with the uh, gear, the blades, and uh, these little uh, hooks for uh, hooking onto the wall. So you guys can see uh, these are much much longer than the Figma. Of course, it's a much bigger figure, uh, so, but same concept, this will go into the maneuvering gear. And then we've got, I guess we'll take a look at the blades first. We've got the blades here. we got a nice uh, finish on them. You know, nothing too fancy. It's just, uh, it looks like uh, metallic paint, gunmetal paint kind of. You guys uh, know what that is. Uh, the light reflects very nicely off of it. But there's really no shading or air airbrushing on it. It's just uh, a flat color. But uh, of course it's metallic. So you guys will get that, that texture there. So very nice on the blades. And then we've got her maneuvering gear now. I hope I do this right. I'm going to attempt to uh, attach this on our figure here. Okay. So in the back of the figure, we've got these uh, straps. You guys can see there, the little plastic straps, and we've got two joints there in that metal piece of her, of her back. So it's very realistic. Uh, you know, it's pretty much what they use in the anime, in the manga. So very, very cool. I like how realistic they've made it look. And this attaches. Of course, we've got two pegs here. One and two that will attach, and it actually goes in very easily. You guys can kind of hear the plastic snapping there. It went on very easily, and uh, for the tanks here, she's also got this little peg, you know, next to her leg on the side, on the outer part of her leg. And we've got, of course, the little hole in the in the gear there, right up here where my finger is. And you just attach it. Like so. Very nice snapping sound. Same goes for the other side. Peg. Hole. <laughs> I'm explaining this like, you guys don't know what a peg in a hole is, I'm sorry. So, just kind of want to make sure you guys get 
the right idea on how this gets uh, put together and because I'm really liking the way that this comes together um, you guys can see the maneuvering gear in the back there attached very nicely and uh, because of the joint the peg and the hole there the, the little peg inside the hole there becomes like a joint so you can move this you know kind of uh, around there so it looks very nice for posing and uh, the maneuvering gear itself I actually I kind of didn't really see it much but uh it's been very nicely uh rendered you guys can see the uh the paint job there and uh, it's it's uh, been painted with a silver metallic paint as well so you guys can see the light reflecting off of it looks very good very nice uh also on the tanks you guys can see that uh, they've used that metallic color as well silver on the top and there is actually a little bit of shading and airbrushing here you guys can kind of see the shadows there and in the back here uh, very nice airbrushing on this uh, this this metal part looks a little greener uh, looks very clean the cast is extremely clean very clean lines in the back here where the joints are you can see where the two pieces are joined together very nice very clean cast so uh, that's the maneuvering gear and I'm going to replace her other hand with uh, her uh, her grappling hand, I guess, her grabbing hand. And we're going to attach the little trigger. So uh, with these figures, the hands are usually very tight. So I don't want to, I don't know if, oh, the fingers are actually very flexible. So I guess we're there's no risk of uh, kind of scratching the paint. So we're going to put her little two fingers in the triggers there. And you guys can see there that the two fingers here, the index and the middle finger, go into the uh, little spaces on the handle very nicely. So look at how nice that looks. You guys can contemplate. looks very very cool very realistic so that's how she grabs to her uh, handles we're gonna put the other hand uh, I don't know if, you, uh, if any of you saw my uh, unboxing of uh, the uh, real action heroes link but when I attempted to put the sword the finger the paint on the fingers actually got a little scratched so that was unfortunate I was uh, hoping that Mikasa wouldn't do that and it looks like she didn't uh, her fingers are very flexible and uh, no damage to them whatsoever for uh, you know from stretching them to fit them into the handles so there she is look at how nice she looks looks very very cool with her uh, maneuvering gear all right uh, I'll put the figure aside again put her upside down so uh, we've got oh we've got these little uh, pieces here they come uh, wrapped in a plastic and of course these go into the maneuvering gear like so You have to kind of put them right in the middle. There we go. There's one. So they haven't uh, neglected any detail here. There's the other one. All right, and there you go. I put these little details in here. The little uh, blades, the ends of the blades. Of course, this is for her switching her blades out. So it's, it's this little piece of plastic that just kind of slots in there. And uh, of course, you guys can remove these. These are removable, detachable. But uh, they look like uh, they do in the anime, so it looks very nice, very true to the anime and the manga. So nice, it's a very nice touch that they didn't uh, neglect. Uh, moving on, we also have the little hooks here. Of course, we'll, uh, these are very sturdy, actually. I think these might be metallic. These are metal, so that, of course, they don't break. If they were plastic, they would break immediately. And they go into those tiny little holes in there. That little tiny hole in there should fit this nicely. Oops, kind of moving on me. 
all right there you go so it attaches like so and uh these i forgot to mention attach to the side of her body so there's a there's a little hole there her waist i'm gonna raise her arm and these go in there there you go they go on the side of her belt and as you guys can see the little hook attaches at her waist there so it looks uh, pretty good and the little the other hook goes in here like so very uh, very simple so you guys can see the hooks there and then of course we've got our blades last but not least and they attach into the handles in that little slot I guess maybe the other way oh they go both ways actually so we're gonna attach them in there like so they uh, fit very snugly very nicely So there you go. I'm gonna remove these uh, little hooks for now. They're kind of getting in the way. So there is the uh, the uh, maneuvering gear, the the accessories, you know, with the swords, the blades. I mean. And she looks uh, very cool. So you see the entire figure there. This is a very very good figure very very nice looking all right and last but not least at the very bottom of the box we're gonna set the figure aside here for a bit we've got the base and this is your uh you know i'm gonna say typical again because this comes in every uh real action hero figure the little arm here to hold the figure upright so she doesn't uh, kind of fall tip, or tip over like she just did kind of leave her kind of laying there probably gonna fall again since I'm kind of moving the table this this is the base clear base and it's a very simple attachment the uh, the little arm just attaches to the bottom of the base like so and the little arm goes on the other end like so and you've got a base for your figure i'm gonna set the base aside and then last but not least we've got her little hood here which is also made out of a uh, cloth there's a little button here. It's a little hook, I guess. It just kind of detaches. It's kind of difficult to attach it back. There you go. <laughs> you you can get it. Uh, there's a nice uh, emblem in the back. And uh, we're gonna, I guess, uh, let her wear it. Uh, there's the little hood also. And I finally managed to uh, attach the little hook under her hoodie. The, I managed to rip one of the little uh, strings there that this attaches to, but it's not the one that you use to attach the hoodie on on you know on her. Uh, that one is still there, but uh, they're very delicate. I wish they would have used uh, a, a little metallic, maybe uh, like a little loop there so that this little metallic hook uh, would uh, just go in there. Uh, just having the little metal hook there, you guys can see it there. The little metal, let me see if I can get it closer. It's a little metal hook that goes into a little piece of string, basically. I, I think that that was a very bad choice. I, I'm afraid that that's going to rip easily, so... I'm being very careful with it. I wish they would have done something else, but uh, I guess for now it is on there. And uh, she looks very nice. So we're gonna leave her standing there. And of course her base is here, but she stands by herself so well that I, 
think I'm not gonna put the base on her right now. So there is uh there's Mikasa. Uh she looks very, very cool. You guys can see that she's a very nice figure. Move her back a bit so you guys can we can get the full figure. And there she is. Can we we can't even fit it in a single frame, so I guess we'll ha have to do a close up. There is the figure. She looks really, really cool with her uh, hood, her maneuvering gear, and everything is uh, on her like it's supposed to be. So she is uh, pretty fin fantastic. I'm very happy with this figure. Uh, really, really awesome. Uh, I give it two thumbs up, 10 out of 10. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, little nitpicky things, uh, the little string on her hood, should have been something else, uh, you know, a different uh, a way of attaching it. And uh, maybe her leather jacket should have been a little less glossy. Other than that, it's a very, very cool figure. Very, very, very nicely done. I'm going to turn her around here so you guys can see the back of her. And I like leaving the hood on, but she looks she looks great without it as well. And there she is. And I decided to bring out the uh, Figma Mikasa, the figure, for just for comparison. Uh, you guys can see the difference, even though Mikasa is on her base. That's how I really like to display her. Uh, you guys can see the difference in size, you know. Uh, the real action hero Mikasa is like three times her size, uh, you know, the size of the Figma. So uh, they both look great, but of course there is just there is just no comparison to the uh, real action heroes uh, figure, which uh, I mean just just looks so so awesome. So uh, there it is, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I I know I really enjoyed unboxing this, and I can't wait to put uh, this new figure on my shelf it's gonna look really great with the other attack on titan figures so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe uh, post any questions you might have too anything i didn't cover in the video and uh, i hope you guys again have enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next unboxing video see you later